Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change a button color on your Squarespace website. If you've never done it before, it's pretty confusing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and it will be so intuitive after the fact. So the first thing is I'm on my scale creative wireframes where I have this design page that allows me to design the website super fast, super easy and build a beautiful site. The first thing I'm gonna do is click edit. And in here, if I did decide to add a button, which you could see this is the button block here. If I'm in here and I'm like, I don't really like the color of this button. I actually want it to be a different color. You really have no control to do that here. So if I click here, it doesn't really give me that control. The way you could customize the color is by going to site styles. So I'm gonna click out of this just so you can see how to get there. You could click here to go to site styles or you could click the paintbrush. I'm gonna click the paintbrush, It'll take me to this menu and then you have these buttons here, which you don't change the color here, you actually change the color in colors. Again, at first it could seem a little counterintuitive, so you can go in here and click on the button, but it's just showing you all the settings for the button, but not the color. The reason is because you have 10 different themes and the color is gonna be different for all 10 themes. So they put it actually in your colors panel. I'll click here on this arrow. And then from there, you'll see these are all the different themes. Now in this section right here, I'm on lightest one. So I wanna click on the pencil for lightest one. And then from here, I want to scroll down, here's text, links, and then buttons. Here, if I wanna change the color of this specific button, let's say I wanna make it gray. What I'll do is I'll click custom, and then from here, I'll drag it to the color I want. And just like that, I'm able to customize it the way I like. And then if I wanna actually change the button text color, I could do that as well. So if I wanted it to be black, and I actually want the button to be even lighter, I could do that. And just like that, I've adjusted the actual button color the way I like. I'm gonna do it like that. Now we've just designed this third button with just a few clicks, and you'll need to do this for any section that you want to adjust the color for. So in this case, this is blue as well. In this one, it's blue as well. Down here, it's blue as well. But here, it's white. So if I wanted this to be something else, I would have to customize it by clicking into it. You'll see here, now I'm on bright two, which this is bright two, and then I'm in buttons here, so I'd have to change this. The background color, let's just say, since it's white, what color would I choose here? Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. Let's just say I did go black, for example, and then I went white, just like that. Now we just adjusted that color for that specific button. And in a case like this, dark one, I love the color of all of this, but these buttons are not the right look. So I have to go in here and then make the same adjustment again, where I probably prefer the lighter with potentially the darker for the buttons. And so we would do something like this. What does this turn out to be? Uh, maybe I'll do that. So when I hover, yeah, that's good. And then this can be here and then just like that. All right, boom. So now I've just suggested those buttons, they look much nicer, much more elegant on this page. And they even match the hyperlink where it's the light blue uh, with a dark blue background. And if you like this template and you wanna use it as your starting point for your next website, I sell this for a really affordable price. And it's the same exact template I use for all my Squarespace websites. My clients love their sites. Every site I built, every client loves. And so this template is a template I used to start. It has 70 pre-built sections. It has seven footers. It also has a tutorial of how to use the template and you can use it as many times as you want. So definitely check out the link down below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.